Midwest. We are now joined by the play-by-play -play announcer for the Yankees AA affiliate, the Somerset Patriots, Stephen Cusimano. And Stephen, your season gets underway on Friday, so set the table for us. What prospects should we look, be looking out for that we may see with the big team sooner rather than later? Yeah, we've got a really exciting roster to start this year, and obviously Spencer Jones jumps right off the page, but I want to start with some pitchers here with the Yankees' third-round pick from 2021, lefty Brock Selvage, who is the number 11-ranked prospect and only started nine games in Hudson Valley last year, but he's already assigned to Somerset and set to make his double-A debut at some point this week. And then a few back-of-the-end relievers in Danny Watson as well as Jack Neely, who are also highly-ranked prospects with really strong stuff that – uh, I think we could definitely see closing out games for the Yankees in the not too distant future. Um, then as far as position players go, Ben Rice made a huge impact for the Patriots last year in only 48 double-A games. He was the Yankees minor league hitting prospect of the year, the Kevin Wan award winner. Uh, so he's back for more, plays some catcher and first base and, and was just extremely impressive in every facet of the game. And then we had a gold glover at first base and TJ Rumfield, who's back for more as well this year. And finally, uh, you, you got to look at Spencer Jones, that top prospect for the Yankees outside of Jason Dominguez as one that really, again, jumps off the page. Okay, we're going to dig in on Spencer Jones. He had a terrific spring training. He hit 444. He was 8 for 18. He had a home run in 13 big league games in spring, winning the James P. Dawson Award given to the outstanding rookie in camp. So, okay, Jones, he talked about a shift in mindset that set him on the right track. What have you learned about him from being around? him well we got spencer jones for about three weeks at double a last year and obviously spent a little time with him in spring training this year too and you mentioned the power numbers you mentioned hitting for average as well but the thing that really stuck out to me when he was here in somerset was just his athleticism for a guy that's six foot eight at his height and his weight he gets down the line quickly and you're actually going to see that in the spring breakout as well got laid down an infield single he stole over 40 bases last year and then made some really nice throws in the outfield. He's just a five-tool player in every sense of the expression. And for a guy his size, the athleticism was really what stuck out to me. Absolutely. And he did put on a show, didn't he, in the Yankees' inaugural spring breakout game against the prospects from the Toronto Blue Jays last month. He homered twice in a 9-1 victory. You had the call of the game alongside Susan Waldman. What was that experience like for you? Yeah, it was really fun because, uh, you know, Susan had discovered that I was coming down to spring training and you get to those later parts of, of the games. And I was actually calling the, the big league game right before the breakout, because when the minor leaguers come in, she had mentioned that uh, these are the guys that I know very well and have a lot of stories to tell. So I uh, had guys like Ben Rice and Max Burt in, in that game uh, when I was on for the play by play and was able to tell uh, some really fun stories and obviously Getting to share the booth with Susan and, and Ricky Ricardo was extremely fun and a, a really great experience to just tell the stories of those guys that eventually will we'll know their stories, but I know them really well right now because we saw them in Somerset recently. Great stuff. Your story, terrific, too. You did a great job. All the best in Friday's home opener and season opener versus the Richmond Flying Squirrels. That's fun in Bridgewater, New Jersey. Thank you, Stephen. Good to meet you. Thanks so much, Nancy. Great stuff.